Welcome back. Let's play one classical game. It's been a while, and this monthly classical arena only comes around once a month. You might see something a little bit different than normal here. Um, we're playing with the user style in effect. All right, I get the white pieces. So somehow my fun house user style, which flips the board horizontally, is not working. So we're going to make do with this. Um, okay. Well, we have a theoretical battle on our hands already. Um... I guess we'll just play an open Sicilian. There's a threat. It's blocked. We're gonna try to slow down that advance. I wonder if my opponent is testing some kind of opening theory. Let's see just the limits of what's possible in an opening and how many slow moves you can get away with playing. Um, all right, so that square is my target. Um, Hmm. This is a bit unusual, uh, but I think this makes some sense. There's a lot of fun targets on this line. Okay. My opponent is playing my moves. That's a bit disconcerting. Like, I'm the one who plays all the crazy nonsense. And I've had that taken away from me now. Um, okay, we're going to play this a bit differently. Somehow I thought knight d2 would be fine here. What was I thinking? We're going to go back 91. And rook takes d4. Not sure how I missed that. Although I have some ideas <laughs> about how I could miss things uh, given this elaborate setup. Um, Bishops are long-range pieces. That's kind of an easy target to hit, if I could just get a piece over there to hit it. <sighs> oh, 
Oh, I've got the hide rating style in effect too, so I'll have no way of knowing what my opponent's rating is. Which is kind of super annoying. Um... I think I've misplayed this pretty badly. All of my pieces are pinned down. Like, the only thing I can do is offer to trade pieces. And hope that their doubled pawns somehow prove problematic. Let's see. I updated the stream title to reflect what's going on. Yeah, my knight has only one square, or I should just move it there. He has nowhere to go next, though, is the problem. I could oppose this. Maybe I'll save that for next turn. So let's make a thread of our own. We need to have active pieces if we're going to play a game. Yeah. It dawned on me after I moved that they might be able to do that. Um... Well, my king's boxed in. I need to free my king. And pushing these pawns near my king is dangerous. Um... See what he's planning. He obviously wants to either win my e pawn or trade off uh, the knight for the bishop and leave me with doubled pawns. Um, I think I'm okay in either event. I think I haven't missed a game ending tactic just yet. But 
Yeah, what a dance. So this might manage to duck back here. He can still hit it, though. So I think I just have to wait for this knight to move, and then need to move my bishop in a way that it can't be captured. I might even need to push f3, even though this open squares around my king, and actually that introduces a new weakness, because I can't defend f3 any better than I can defend the rest of this. I think knight a5 was misguided. Possibly bishop d3 is dumb too, but it avoids this kind of attack, so... I don't see where that's going next. Oh, interesting. That undermines my knight. My c3 knight can go to squares right now, but not for long. Um, so this threatens to take on b2, leaving the, this knight exposed. Of course, moving the b2 pawn reveals the same tactic. So, I don't have a good way to defend that. Maybe I have to fall into the tactic. No. I have to exchange my bishop for this damn knight. That's unpleasant. So my opponent has a bishop pair and a rook, which coordinate well with each other. I have knights, which are useful in blitz chess, but we're not playing blitz. Um, so yeah, I have to find some activity while this board is still closed. How do I generate some activity? Uh, I could activate my king a little bit. It's risky. Actually, this is attacked twice. That's another problem. Um. So yeah, we're going to invite some trouble. This is an obvious target, so I might have to push that Like once he does this. My entire position is collapsing. I guess ideally if I had an extra move I could do something like this, but I don't have an extra move. So yep, get wrecked me. Um, oh, 
Oh, hang on. There is still a tactic here. We'll just defend my knight and pretend, I don't know, like somehow we might have missed that. So, okay, the bishop's going somewhere next, um, I wonder if knight g3 is terrible. Yeah, this is a good way to activate a piece. Regardless of what I think about knight g3, this gains a tempo. Because I might want my rook over here. I might not, but I might. And given the trouble I'm in, the more threats, or more things I force my opponent to think about, the better. Okay. This gives me an opportunity to voluntarily trade into what's probably a lost endgame. Or I could choose to not volunteer. Wait, I could play f4. If f4, they went a pawn. Yeah, this is no good. Um, I debated h4 as well as h3, but h4 doesn't seem to have any bite. If he takes on c3, like, would I prefer rook takes or knight takes? I'm thinking knight takes. That's spooky. It's like if this happens, I'm not sure which way I recapture. But probably the real threat here is just that. Um, 
Oh, I guess we're not going to see that. Ambitious. Okay, if I play B3, lots of stuff could happen. Um, I think this is the only forcing move I have, so it had better be good. gives you lemons make lemonade but yeah I think here like I have to make use of the only forcing moves I have available but they're okay let's see do I play b4 now if I played b4 I can trade off some more pawns. I think this is the best I can hope for in this dire situation. So then this is kind of a threat. But also I might just recapture this way. Also this bishop could just run away and then we have to figure out how this plays out too. So yeah, there's tactics. If he takes that pawn, I don't even know if he will, but which way do I want to recapture? Maybe I even take on d4. Maybe that's the real play here. So if he takes, yeah, if I take d4, might be okay. But also knight takes b5 looks interesting. Knight takes b5. A lot of stuff gets traded. Knight takes uh, bishop c5 and then what? I don't think I have a plan there. So I think I have to take d4. Either rook takes or pawn takes. And I think I'm fine. Yeah, I think this is the only way to proceed here. Like, the position's terrible, so unless I'm just lost, the tactics have to favor me. So I need to play tactically here and come up with aggressive moves. So trading pieces is... Although in general trading pieces is bad here, I got rid of his bishop pair. And I have some very temporary initiative that comes from that, um, which might be enough to force trades into a rook endgame that I might be able to draw. 
that and I'm just going crazy looking at this so it's best to just get it over with um, so that's the threat see so yeah, has to respond to that threat so he's got various threats here It's possible I'm just completely doomed, but um, if not, let's try to find reasonable moves. In particular, this is pretty weak. Okay. I thought I had a response to that. Um, yeah, we have to find a better square for the night because this is collapsing. So this is a square for the night. Uh, he's actually got this tactical shot, which I missed. I still might be okay, but this is this is pushing it. I miss that this hits that. I guess the bright side of all this is that I still have a ton of an initiative, so I can continue attacking stuff. Although I'm losing pawns left and right here. Yeah, the monthly and yearly and prize money tournaments um, tend to bring out the most competitive side of people. So, where normally I'm just fighting with about the same amount of effort every game, some people take these monthly events pretty seriously. So I tend to get decked really in the first round of all these big events. Uh, and the second round, and the third round, and so forth, because I don't, I can't gear up. I have to like improve at the game to um, to try harder. Yeah, for an online game where um, there's nothing I can do to really prepare for it, I don't know my next opponent. Um, yeah, this is standard fare. I guess the one thing I could have done maybe was uh, switch back to the 3D pieces. Uh, but yeah, I guess online also, I find this an opportunity to try out openings. Like, yeah, normally I just go directly into an open Sicilian, and here I keep trying to play other stuff to see, can I play this other stuff? Instead of playing, like, Two knight f3, three d4, four bishop c4, etc. Like I try different opening possibilities online in case I find one that I like. So that probably costs me some rating points. Oh, right, I didn't see that he could do that. All right, my knight's attacked. Um. I thought I had this. I don't. So I've got to put my knight somewhere. I don't want to play knight d5 because that causes my center to collapse, but going back to b5 traps the knight. 
So we're going to keep trying to force tactics, even though this is not good. And this is preparing c3, which tries to trade into this, but it's just no good. Again, I wish that the arrows wouldn't erase each time I pre-move. Um, but what can you do? Yep, so he's probably just taking here, and I don't know if I'm playing c3 or maybe I'm playing rook b3. This position's pretty bad. Also possible might be rook c3, like on his part. So if I play c3 and we trade rooks, he gets a pawn there, and I can't stop it, can I? King e2... King c4, king d1, king b3, I'm lost. So I have to play this. Unless f4 works, but it can't. So this is my target. It's important to have something to aim at. Right. So that's pretty obvious. Um... Gotta hit another obvious target. Even though this doesn't work either. Yeah, I'm screwed. Maybe I needed to play f4 before this, but my everything collapses, especially on this. There's only so much I can pretend here. Yeah, all right, well played. So I still, like, if I hover over them... Oh, 2143. All right. So I can still see their rating in the hover over, but... Um, yeah, that's too bad. So I was playing against somebody... I forget my own rating. Do I have a classical rating? 2145. Uh, yeah, so I outrated them by two points, but no longer. Or something like that, so... Goodness. Does the sound setting, like the volume control, not work? Okay, apparently for the volume control to take effect, you have to go to the sound and then pick the volume slider each time. Interesting. Um, okay, rook d2 was terrible. Apparently I needed to go for it. Not be such a pansy. Uh... <laughs> I wanted to do this, I just thought, like, it was unnecessary and also trapped my rook. Um, but I guess when I'm playing with fire... Well, I'm sorry, they led this with g4 and h5. But I missed earlier opportunities, I guess. Knight d3. Oh. Really? What did I play here? I traded... Okay, I don't understand the Sicilian. Sicilian's a hard opening. Did I miss anything else obvious? G5, H4. I considered this, didn't know what to think about that. Stockfish likes it, I don't. Knight E5. Okay, and yeah, around here, it should just... 
Uh, make sure I have my knight has a space to go to. I was just getting uncomfortable and pressured on the clock because I've been playing too much speed chess and developing bad habits. So yeah, knight d3 was definitely the move here. And this brings into question what black is doing, pushing their pawns, putting this piece in this awkward space, um, allowing me to continue development, albeit in a weird way. They haven't castled. I don't know why I need to be so afraid here. How might this continue? Knight c6, knight f6. Why does knight c4 not work? Oh, right. I completely missed that. But yeah, knight f6. I'm threatening to take on e5. Um... So this traps my rook in the center of the board. This would have been cool. Yeah, that's still a good game. That's disappointing. Whatever, we tried.